President Muhammad Buhari yesterday criticized the National Assembly for removing crucial projects from the 2022 budget estimate sent to it by the executive and inserting the lawmakers' project to the tune of 887 billion naira in the fiscal document before it was signed into law. He also accused the federal lawmakers of making unnecessary incursion into the operational areas of the executive. This was just as the president has asked the National Assembly to amend the 2022 Appropriation Act passed by the National Assembly in December 2021. The requests were contained in a letter dated February 10, 2022, and read during plenary by the Senate President Ahmed Lawan. Buhari, in the letter, he also said it was imperative to remove all capital projects that were replicated in the 2022 Appropriation Act. He lamented that 139 out of the 254 projects in the budget totaling 13.24 billion naira had been identified for deletion. The president therefore requested the National Assembly to amend the Appropriation Act to provide for capital expenditure. He also requested an additional provision for 2.557 trillion naira be appropriated by the National Assembly to fund the petrol subsidy in the 2022 budget framework, which was revised to provide fully for PMS subsidy. Buhari stressed the need to reinstate four capital projects, totaling 1.4 billion naira, in the executive proposal for the Federal Ministry of Water Resources. He said, 22 billion naira should be cut from the provision for sinking fund to retire mature loans needed to meet government's obligations under already issued bonds. Buhari said, you will agree with me that the inclusion of National Assembly's expenditures in the executive budget negates the principles of separation of power and financial autonomy of the legislature. It is therefore necessary to transfer the National Assembly's expenditures totaling 16.59 billion naira in the service wide vote to National Assembly statutory transfer provision. It is also imperative to reinstate the 22 billion naira cut from the provision for sinking fund to retire mature loans to ensure that government can meet its obligation under already issued bonds as and when they mature. The cut made from provisions for the recurrent spending of Nigerians' foreign missions, which are already constrained, are capable of causing serious embarrassment to the country, as they mostly relate to office and residential rentals. Similarly, the reduction in provisions for allowances payable to personnel of the Nigerian Navy and the police formations and commands could create serious issues for government. It is therefore imperative that the provisions be restored as proposed. It is also absolutely necessary to remove all capital projects that are replicated in the 2022 Appropriation Act. 139 out of the 254 such projects totaling 13.24 billion naira have been identified to be deleted from the budget. He added, some significant and non-mandate projects were introduced in the budget of the Ministry of Transportation, Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation and Office of the Head of Civil Service of the Federation. There are several other projects that have been included by the National Assembly in the budgets of agencies that are outside their mandate areas. The Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning has been directed to work with your relevant committees to comprehensively identify and realign all such misplaced projects. It is also necessary to restore the titles and descriptions of 32 projects in the Appropriation Act to the titles contained in the Executive Proposal for the Ministry of Water Resources in furtherance of our effort to complete and put to use critical agenda projects. The President also sought the approval of the Federal Parliament for a fresh request of 150 billion naira. It is equally important to restate 
the 25.81 billion naira cut from the provision for the power sector reform program in order to meet the federal government's commitment under the financing plan agreed with the World Bank. Furthermore, there is critical and urgent need to restore the 3 billion naira cuts from the provision made for payment of mostly longer standing local contractors' debt and other liabilities as part of our strategy to reflate the economy and spoil growth. The president said the 2.557 trillion naira fresh request was to enable the federal government to subsidize petrol from June to December this year. He said following the suspension of the petrol subsidy remover, the 2022 budget framework has been revised to fully provide for PMS subsidy. An additional provision of 2.557 trillion naira will be required to fund the petrol subsidy in 2022. Consequently, the Federation account main pool revenue for the three tiers of government is projected to decline by 2 trillion naira while federal government's share from the account is projected to reduce by 1.5 trillion naira therefore the amount available to fund the federal budget is projected to decline by 969.9 billion naira all of these budgets that um, that are being sent to the senate even the loans president muhammad buhari um, is requesting supplementary budget for petrol subsidy and everything that has been presented to the senate you know even before the one for 2021 not even the one for the 2022 budget nigerians can't even feel any of um, those uh huge sum a lot of money while going through all of this is billion billion trillion trillion billion billion and these monies we can't even see them in the society we can't feel them it looks like they're hanging somewhere or they just they they, they do some things with them well Buhari right now is accusing the national assembly uh, that they actually inserted about 870 887 billion naira into the budget interesting for him to have uh, identified that let's know that uh, it's even more than that you know Buhari, you know, it, it's been said that anything that they put before Buhari's table, that's what he signs. Anything they bring, he doesn't even look at it. He just signs. Well, right now he has identified that uh, the National Assembly inserted 887 billion naira into the budget for no just cause, and that should be removed. We hope that they do the needful. The country is in a bad shape right now. All of these monies and this budget, if they are truly... Uh, as soon as the budget comes out, if they are really used for the purpose, the names that they've given them, we'll see changes. But uh, these monies, they are not being used for what they call them, the names they give them. So unfortunate. Well, guys, leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I like, come your way again more updates. Bye.